zero calories, same great taste. I know that Valentine's Day has already passed. I also know that you're probably single because you're ugly. But guess what? I'm single too. Not because I'm ugly. At least that's what my mama says. <sighs> she always told me things that no one else would ever say. Anyway, if you're single, there's so many options. There's Tinder. There's Tinder. There's Tinder. And I am not going on Tinder. No, oh, boo boo, no. Tinder is fucking scary, okay? Any dating app is scary. It's scary. Talking to people is fucking scary, okay? I'm not doing it. I'm not going there, okay? So instead, this is my video application for a human. I want a human. I want a human being. I am a human being. I am a being. <laughs> That's so deep. And I'm not 14. Okay, so here are my top reasons why you should date me because i am amazing but that's beside the point that's not one of the reasons because that's just a known fact okay so let's get into the nitty gritty reasons <laughs> let's start off with the obvious i mean did you ever look at me look at my gorgeous head of hair it's the most luxurious curls you have ever seen in your life it's so long i keep needing to put it out of my face because it just keeps falling into my eyes i'm like i can't see tuck it behind my ear you know just like a Do you know how long it takes me to wash and brush this bitch? It takes me so long I don't even do it because there's just no point. It just takes forever. It would take my whole life. So yeah. Also speaking on the topic of eyes, I have blue eyes. Also speaking on the topic of hair, I have blonde hair. Hitler would have loved me. I would have survived every camp. He would see me and be like, not her, you, you come here and I'm like, Okay, Adolf, what do you want to do tonight? He's like, bonfire. I'm like, love those. Is that fucked up? Okay. I've been to a concentration camp before. I've been to one, it was uh, fun. Well, not fun, but I would go again, but not like, it was an experience. So I haven't been to Auschwitz, so I want to go to Auschwitz. Not because like it's fun. Oh, I've heard you've been to Auschwitz. H how was it? Great. It was so hot. <laughs> If you decide to date me, since I already look like a boy, I can be your boy. I will treat you like the woman. I will be the boy or the man, depends if you're Catholic or not. I will hold the door for you. I will open it for you. I'll push you through it. Move, bitch. You got time to be in places to go. <laughs> I won't ask stupid rhetorical questions while we're watching a movie because I realize that neither of us knows the answer. That's why we're watching it. That's why you watch it. Oh my God, what's he doing? I don't know. I don't know. Why don't we just watch and find out? Why don't, I don't know. Why don't you go forward, watch it, come back, tell me, okay? Cause I don't know either, bitch. And then you can ask me that same question again. I will not skip songs halfway through. You know those people that play music and before the song's even done, they just skip it. They just go to the next one, bitch. You have commitment issues, that's what you have. Don't, just why, why? It's annoying, stop it. <laughs> you won't ever have to buy me flowers. I will never expect flowers and I don't want flowers because I kill those motherfuckers. I don't like flowers and I will not take care of them. <laughs> not to like brag or anything, but I'm actually like so good in bed. Like I can sleep for 12 hours and still wake up tired as hell. But I can also sleep for three hours and wake up fresher than a motherfucker. Oof. <laughs> you will never lose me in public. You'll always be able to see me, to recognize me, because I wear the same shit every day for two weeks before I change into a similar outfit, which I will then wear for another two weeks. And then back to square one. It's very ergonomic. I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna wear because all my shit is the same. <laughs> I will awkwardly stand there not saying a single word when we meet your friends or your family. I will hate every second of it and I will wish that I was just home. Everybody knows each other, everyone's talking to each other and I'm just there in the back like... Can we go? Yes, we would love to stay another hour. <laughs> Since I love you, because we're dating, um, I will sacrifice my health for you and eat all the chocolate so that you don't have to. 
like the true feminist that I am not, I will not expect you to pay for me every time we go out. If I'm going out, I'm making sure I have enough money to pay for myself. So I'm not expecting anyone to be paying for me. This whole debate, like who should pay on a date? Um, I don't know, pay for yourself, bitch. And like people going out in groups and then it's like, let's split the bill. No, how about everyone just pays for what they fucking ordered? Why should I pay for something that you ate? Fuck these people, fuck those people, fuck off. Is that controversial? If you go out as a group and someone says to just everyone pay for themselves, why? Just fucking... Ugh. If you get with me, you get with my Harry Potter PJs. Fleece, warm, cozy, soft, from Primark. Love it. <laughs> the most important thing, if you date me, you also date my dog. But not like bestiality. This isn't Beauty and the Beast. This is beauty and beauty and mm, you do. Wherever I go, she go. Unless she don't, then she don't. The last and most important reason, I have this. Oh, come on! Ugh.